In game theory, repeated games, also known as super games, are those that play out over and over for a period of time. In the game known as the Prisoner's Dilemma, the Nash equilibrium is confess, confess. If the prisoners know the number of repetitions, let's say 10 rounds, we need to operate a backwards induction to solve the game. Consider the strategies of each player when they realize the next round is going to be the last. They behave as if it was a one-shot game. Thus, the Nash equilibrium applies, and the equilibrium would be confess-confess, just like the one-time game. Now consider the game before the last. Since each player knows in the next final round they are going to confess, there's no advantage to lie on this round either. The same logic applies for prior moves. Therefore, confess-confess is the Nash equilibrium for all rounds. The situation with an infinite number of repetitions is different. Since there will be no last round, a backwards induction reasoning does not work here. Repeated games provide different payoffs at each repetition. Since these payoffs are given at different points in time, in order to analyze repeated games, we must compare each player's discounted sum of payoffs, which for finite repetitions are calculated using the following formula. The discounted sum of payoffs, P, is equal to the sum of all discounted payoffs, from period 0 to period N. These discounted payoffs are calculated as the payoff at the repetition being considered, divided by the discounting denominator where R is the discount rate and T is the number of the repetition being considered. For infinite repetitions, the only thing that we change in the formula is the total number of repetitions, which go from N to infinite. Repeated games might seem hard to analyze. However, they are a true representation of reality. For instance, collision agreements only make sense when analyzed as repeated games. 